With the team medals and the dressage now decided, attention turns to the individual events. Up first is the Grand Prix Special. 2014 champion Charlotte Dujardin is hoping for similar success here in Tryon. However, she'll be doing it without her legendary horse, Vallegro. I feel so excited again to have that like pressure that wants to just go out there and perform. It's a new chapter, it's a new start to my career with another new horse. And I also feel so proud that I've trained another one. I've had her from a young horse and she's come up now through the levels. She's currently been unbeaten um, throughout her career, so she's been very, very successful. She has the biggest heart. I just want to give her the best ride I can and give her the most confidence. The eventing dressage continues and we'll see the 2014 individual eventing champion Sandra a fourth of Germany take to the arena. She begins the defence of her title on a relatively inexperienced horse, Viamant de Matz. The horse is very young and to the beginning of the year I had the feeling he, he needs a little bit more time. In the last three competitions I had yeah, a really fantastic feeling in the cross country that he's really understanding every question and looking for the next question so it gives me a really good feeling so I try to define my title now with the young horse. <laughs> also going in round two is Philip Dutton of the USA. Despite an extremely successful career Dutton has never won a medal at the World Equestrian Games but having won the test event earlier this year he has good feelings heading into this year's competition. It doesn't get much better than uh, representing your country here at home in front of uh, a very patriotic crowd. Home advantage would be that we've been here, you know, we know the area, was nothing too unfamiliar with it. Certainly it's a new cross country course, but we know the venue pretty well, we know the terrain, and most of these horses have been here. Tough competition, so, you know, I'll be doing my best and, uh, you know, we'll see how the competition plays out. But yeah, I'd be aiming, hopefully, to, to do well individually as well. Join us for another fascinating day of equine action at the FEI World Equestrian Games.